Now in this session we talk about how to allocate fluids on the shell side and on the tube side. Now for doing that we consider different fluid properties and also we consider different operating conditions. Among the fluid properties the three mainly considered properties are the corrosiveness, fouling tendency and the viscosity. And the main operating conditions considered for allocation of the fluids are the temperatures of the two streams, the operating pressure of the streams, the pressure drop and the flow rates. Now when considering corrosion, typically the more corrosive fluids are allocated to the tube side. Why? Simply because on the tube side there are much less area for exposure to the fluid. So that reduces the cost of the expensive alloys. If you need an expensive alloy, if you put it on the shell side, lots of different materials are to be constructed using that special alloy and that will be costly. And again, less exposed area for corrosion and the shell and the baffles, those are not exposed. If you put the corrosive fluid on the shell side, the outer side of the tube is also exposed. So tubes are exposed in either way. Now based on the fouling tendency of the fluid, fluid having fouling tendency is placed on the tube side. Inside the tube, it's easier to clean and the less area of exposure if you put on the tube side. On the other hand, if you put on the shell side, the fouling will take place on the outer side of the tube as well as in the shell and also on the baffles and other construction items. Also on the tube side, we can allow higher velocity and thus we can reduce the fouling. So we have better control over the design fluid velocity for the tube side and also the tube side is easier to clean and again as I discussed, there are less exposed area for fouling. Now regarding the flow characteristics, if the flow is turbulent, the more viscous fluid goes to the shell side because on the shell side, it's easier to create turbulence. So in general, higher heat transfer coefficient can be obtained with the more viscous fluid in the shell side and critical Reynolds number for shell side is around 200. However, if the turbulent flow cannot be achieved, the more viscous fluid goes to the tube side because the tube side more velocity can be obtained and that will give you high Reynolds number and eventually give you high heat transfer coefficient. The prediction of the heat transfer coefficient for the tube side is quite certain compared to the complexity for the shell side and the errors in the shell side heat transfer calculations. Now when considering the fluid temperature for allocation, for high temperature fluid tube side is the better choice. So because of high temperature if you need a special alloy, if you put this fluid on the shell side then all of the materials need to be constructed using the special alloy. However, if you put on the tube side, only the tubes need to be constructed. So high temperature fluid in the shell side increase the shell temperature and that will cause loss of heat from the heat exchanger. Also safety issues need to be considered when the shell side is exposed to high temperature. Now based on fluid pressure and allowable pressure drop, so fluid at high pressure, lower allowable pressure drop and higher flow rate go to the tube side because high pressure tubes are cheaper to construct and operate than high pressure shell. Also tube side causes less pressure drop than the shell side because of the configuration of the shell. And for the same pressure, higher heat transfer coefficient are obtained for the tube side than the shell side. Allocating the fluids with lower flow rate to the shell side normally gives the most economical design. So in summary, typically the corrosive fluid goes to the tube side, the fluid having a fouling tendency goes to the tube side for viscous fluid depending on the flow condition it can go either the tube side on the shell side uh, for high temperature fluid it goes typically to the tube side and if the fluid at a high pressure or the allowable pressure drop is low it goes to the tube side and also fluid with the higher flow rate goes to the tube side thank you